Happy New Year everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here is Aptool and today we have another unboxing. So today we have a special unboxing. We have a watch, um, I think the most expensive watch I bought this year and definitely one of the most unique watches that I have at the moment. This watch, I will wear it until I'm back at home in Egypt and then this will be gifted to my mom as she always wanted a, uh, yeah, you will be seeing what you always wanted. So let's first take it off. I bought it from Chrono24. I think that's the receipt. Let's get the box out. Nothing inside. So, as you know me, I like vintage watches. And if I'm be buying something as a to keep most probably i'm buying something that uh, will not only appreciate with time but also is very rare by the way i'm wearing my Aragon malmstrom as you can see the patina on this watch is getting out of hand but i love it well, i cannot even move the bezel anymore but good that it's stuck at the 12 o'clock position so let me open this more. No, oh, that's not a bad box. I might use it for sending another package. That's uh, that's also something I always use when I have boxes like this. I always use it for new watches. So you can see the crown. So it's a Rolex. You can see that it's an old box. So you know that it's a vintage Rolex and so let me just put this away and start opening. So we have here the cards, Amun Seidel, thanks Amun, put these with the receipt and I think here is also the paper, just have here, yeah. Can see the paper when was it bought and you can see the modern oh and here we are they just one six two five turnograph from the 1960 i think he was saying it's 69 but after i checked i think they go up to 66 so it might be 66 as you can see bezel moving watch is actually ticking because he and it's actually quite accurate <laughs> so that's great so this this watch is um, basically the the between uh, the day just and the submariner it was issued before the submariner and it was supposed to be like a sports watch that has a bit of style um, but I think Rolex found out that they already have one, which is the Datejust. It's actually a sports watch, but with style. So they decided to discontinue it. They brought it back in the 2000s, I think, and discontinued it again. So this one is the 60s model. It's uh, for reference. And the bracelet is actually not bad at all. The box is quite good. And I really like it. Put this inside. Let me take this out and wear it with a bracelet. And let's see. Oh, I might have to make it a bit bigger. So. Oops. The spring bar always jumps around. I got this this leather uh, 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 tablecloth. Um, it's actually really nice because you can put the watches without uh, being paranoid that the wood would scratch the watch. Um, although I'm not that much paranoid about scratching watches, um, I wouldn't like to scratch a watch that I just got, especially if I'm giving it away as a present uh, to my mother. 
just trying to yeah yeah here we go this actually fits perfectly <laughs> like this doesn't have any kind of play you have the Ridley, the, 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 the rattle, this bracelet rattle because of the, uh, the, 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 the hollow links and the hollow end links. It's just a part of the, how do you call it? This, this soul of the watch, the charisma of the watch, I think. And as you can see, I put it on the one before. No, it's actually, there are two more holes, so. I could make it a bit larger. So let's say we are now in winter, 31st of December. So it's cold, so it's holding like this. Maybe one more. One more would be a good idea. Anyways, I'm going to wear it with a strap until I give it to my mom because I don't want to uh, make the bracelet any more uh, stretching. It's it's just a beautiful watch to be honest. I really like it. Very sharp case. The gold is still there. The carat the, the fourteen carat bezel. It's shiny. Crisp. And even the edges of the the case are, are sharp. So that's that's a great sign. As you can see here. So let me take the bracelet off. Look at the reference number and all this important information that we have here. So we have here the reference of the watch, the 1625. And on the other side, as you can see, I'm just using this. Oh, sorry, you can't see. <laughs> sorry about that. As you can see here, I'm using this spring bar tool to push it from the holes, which makes it much easier to take the spring bar out. And as you can see, I should put it right here, like this. So it goes the whole way. Because. It's always a hassle with these old uh, Jubilee bracelets because when they go in, they're really hard to get out and vice versa. So let me put this on the side and look here on. So you can see here, I don't want to show you the whole reference number. So you have here the reference number and then you have the watch. So let me get the measuring. Measuring tool. See how does it measure up. Somehow it's not here while I left it. Just a second. So I'm back. So let's see. Diameter 36. Lug to lug is, I think it was 44, for this case size 44, with the crown 38, thickness 11.5, I think it's more like 11 maybe, no it's 11.5, alright. The bezel moves in both directions as you can see, it's a friction bezel, looks great. And as you can see, the strap is two tone as well with this very, very crisp. You can see the crisp Rolex logo on the buckle. This old style buckle, can't find it anywhere with this folded clasp because this folded clasp is the original one. So, as I said, I'm not gonna wear this one. I am going to put it in the back and put this on or try this on 
might be a good idea put this here so let's see does look good just wanted to see if so rubber or leather i think leather more right it's more more its taste i guess maybe i have to get a new rolex bucket so let me just get find the springboard that i uh, misplaced so as you can see on this strap it looks really nice on the on the on the bracelet it did look also really cool as well but uh, i'm not the two-tone kind of guy i love my other two-tone watch the the one that grand, my grandfather left me um that's why i want to get also i wanted to get a, a, a two-tone watch a very rare watch like this one like the 1625 uh, turnograph uh, you don't see it every day and on this strap it looks quite nice i have to say so thank you so much for watching i hope uh, you enjoyed this video if you liked this video please do leave a like and also subscribe and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.